Okay, unfortunately, postpartum uh, hair loss can last anywhere from three to six months, but there are some individuals who don't get back to their normal hair loss pattern until the child's first birthday. And my children are eight years old, and I can tell you my hairline has changed. Look at this. No matter what, and I have pretty healthy hair, but look how thin it is around here. And that's all after pregnancy. They're eight years old. So we know that the pregnancy and postpartum period are uh, affected by hormonal cycles that affect the phases of hair growth, antigen and telogen. During pregnancy, we have a prolonged antigen phase in hair cycling, and that's due to the effects of progesterone from the pregnancy. The antigen phase is the active phase of the hair cycle, and it can have active growth of hair and also thickening of hair. And we can have new hair growth during this period as well. So that's why a lot of pregnant individuals have that nice, shiny, thick, uh, longer hair during the course of their pregnancy. After birth, when we enter the postpartum period, we have a drop in progesterone, an increase in prolactin, especially if we're breast or chest feeding, and that puts us into the telogen phase of hair cycling. And telogen effluvium, or the telogen phase, is the type of diffuse hair shedding. And let me tell you, I had two periods in my life where I had substantial hair loss. Postpartum period, and after I had COVID the first time. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot we can do about the postpartum hair loss. There's no magic supplement, no magic product. It pretty much is what it is. But if you are concerned and you're losing a lot more hair or it's coming out in patches or clumps, then go see a dermatologist. It might be worth it to uh, get their opinion on if something else is at play.